What is audio sidechaining? Well, you can kind of think of it this way. It's one track or bus reacting to another track or bus. Today's video is sponsored by Motion Ray, but we're going to be taking a look at the new side chaining feature here in DaVinci Resolve 19 Beta. And as a video editor, the main way you're probably going to want to use this is to have either your music or sound effects duck underneath your dialogue when you have dialogue in your videos. And then when that dialogue stops, you want that music to come back up. Now we also have the ducker feature, which essentially does a similar type of thing. However, when it comes to having multiple sources that you want a track or bus to react to, the ducker is not going to get the job done for you. And that's where you might want to use something like side chaining. Now side chaining can also be used to work with effects. I am going to show you two different effects that have the side chaining controls as part of the effect, but let's just jump in Resolve and get going here learning about the new side chaining features in Resolve 19 Beta. In DaVinci Resolve here, I'm in the Fairlight tab, and that's where we're going to have access to the new side chaining feature. And in order to find that side chaining feature, we're going to want to pick a track that we want to have react to another track. So in this case, as I mentioned already, we're going to be working with our music track because that's something that typically you're probably going to want to work with and have duck underneath your dialogue. So let me just zoom in on my timeline here. I've got a music track right here. And let's just hear how the music sounds currently with the dialogue. The music is at, you know, the regular volume as I brought it into my timeline. And here's what that sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so you can see the music is too loud. Now we can do a whole bunch of different ways to lower that volume, but we're gonna use the side chaining feature here to automatically duck that music underneath our dialogue. So to get started here, what we wanna do is go to our music track in our mixer. So I'm gonna look for my music two track. If you don't have your mixer open, open your mixer at the top here. I'm gonna scroll over, find my music track two, and the new side chain controls are gonna be in your dynamics panel. So go ahead and double click dynamics to open that up. Now in the dynamics panel here, the new side chain feature is right over here. You see it says side chain, and you're gonna notice it looks a little bit different than in the past. In the past, we used to have a send and listen button, but now we've got a little bit more flexibility with how the side chain is gonna work. So in this case, I want my music to duck underneath my dialogue. So if I click on this little drop down here, we can see all my different tracks here. And I actually have in this project, three different dialogue tracks, K, O, and L. Those are the different dialogues that I have. Now in this new sidechain tool, we can only select one input. So what I decided to do was send all three of my dialogue tracks over to a bus, which you can see down here, I called it dialogue. They all go to the bus. And now all three of those audio tracks all the dialogue tracks can be part of what the music track listens to in order to react to it. So I'm gonna make sure I have my dialogue bus selected. Now, if you only have one track of dialogue, for example, then you can just select your track. If I only had this track right here, I can select just that track, you're good to go. You don't need a bus. But if you have multiple inputs or multiple tracks, of dialogue in this case, you're gonna to wanna to send them over to a bus. So that way you can select your bus, your dialogue bus for the music tracks to listen to. But once you select what your source is that you wanna to listen to, you're just gonna go ahead and click the on button. And now if I come back in my timeline here, we're gonna play through it. You wanna make sure that your compressor is turned on here. Otherwise it's not gonna do any ducking for you. Now you're probably gonna to have to adjust some of these settings here. I know that uh, I'm gonna adjust these once we get started here. But let's go ahead and play through this. We can see how the music track is gonna to react to our dialogue based on what we see going on in the graph up here. <laughs> Sorry, come on. Yeah, tell us a passed down story, you know, from your ancestors. Fine, I'll tell you a story, but it may be a bit scary. Do you think you can handle it? We'll, we'll be, be fine. fine. Come just on, come on, just start, start telling. telling. The story. Okay, well, once upon a time, or 200. Okay, so you could see how our music was ducking below our dialogue, right? Now, I did make some changes here just to smoothen it out, get the levels that I want for the music based on what it sounds like, and taking a look at my meters up here at the top. So I increased the hold time just so that way it doesn't bounce back up so quick, and the release time so that it gradually, music goes back up. You can see when I muted the track there, the music gradually got back to its normal volume. 
So this is really great because we've got all the flexibility we need here to make adjustments. We're listening to all of our dialogue tracks now, not just one track, which is a limitation of using the Ducker that is also brand new in Resolve 19 beta. But the other thing that we can do that's really cool too is if I turn this off on our music track and I wanted to have both of my music tracks go to a music bus, right? You can see right here, I've got music two and music one and I sent them over to a music bus. So over in the bus section here, I've got music. Now, if I want all of my music tracks to duck below the dialogue, now I've got one bus that has all of my music being sent over to it. I can just come into my dynamics panel here for my music bus and I've got the option to use the sidechain here. So I can use the dialogue bus as my source. I can turn it on. And then we're gonna be able to hear and I'll have the music react to all of our dialogue tracks, right? So using buses is a great way to help kind of group things together and help prevent you from having to do things in multiple places, right? Like use the sidechain here. Now you'll notice that there is a listen button right here. And the listen button is gonna allow you to hear what the track is reacting to. So if you just want a quick listen in on, you know, the dialogue bus or whatever your source is that you're reacting to for that given bus or track, you're just gonna hit that listen button. Now you do have to remember to turn off the listen button because if you don't, then you're not gonna hear the correct things, uh, you know, as your video is playing, you're gonna be hearing whatever it's listening to. So you gotta remember to turn it off. But if you just want a quick check, like, hey, what am I listening to? You can go ahead and turn that on and, uh, and it'll show you what track you're listening to and let you hear what it sounds like or what bus, track or bus. You could listen to either one, depending on your source right here. But by doing it on a music bus here, then I don't have to do it on each individual music track. I can just do it on the bus boom, do it once, you're good, and you're done. Now, I can also do it on my sound effects, right? If I wanted my sound effects to make sure that they never get too loud around my dialogue, I can have the sound effects track uh, link to and listen to my dialogue. So lots of different ways that you can use the sidechain here and have channels or buses react to another channel or bus. Now, let me just show you another way that you can use the sidechain here, and that is with specific effects. But before we get into that, I want to take a minute and talk about the sponsor of today's video, Motion Array. And I want to tell you guys about some plugins that they got. It's drag and drop really easy. Let me just show you a few that I think are pretty cool. So in DaVinci Resolve here, as I was working on this project with my daughter, I wanted to create a cool little uh, scene here where my dog's chasing after us. So I want to add in a few things. So you can see in my effects library right here, open that up, go to open effects, and then scroll to the bottom and you're going to see all these different plugins that Motion Array has that install directly into Resolve. I want to throw a little zoom blur on here because I think it might make it look kind of cool. Got zoom blur. I can just drag and drop it on my clip. And then in my inspector over here, we can always adjust some of the options. You've got different presets here if you want. I want to know where the center is. I can click the drop down. Go to my open effects overlay. I can change where that point is. And here's what it looks like when I'm trying to get my dog to uh, be a crazy wild animal. <laughs> Let's say I just take the cine style. Boom, I drop it on there. Oh, now we're looking a little more cinematic, right? So it makes it really quick and easy to be able to drag and drop a few different effects or color things or film damage, film grain, shutters, uh, flickers. There's a whole bunch of great stuff in there. So if you're looking for some easy to use drag and drop assets that fit right inside of DaVinci Resolve, maybe you want to check out these Motion Array plugins, see if it's something that might work for you. Now let's jump back into checking out some sidechain stuff. So if I come to my sidechain effects here, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in an effect. Now there's not a ton of Resolve built-in native effects that use the sidechain, but one of them is the limiter. So if I come to the limiter and I bring this up on my screen here, we can see at the top here, we've got some new controls. We have our sidechain and we can turn it on. We can listen to it just like we just talked about. And then we also have our source right here. And the source is exactly as it is in the dynamics panel there. It says, hey, what am I gonna listen to here? So in this case, if I wanted the limiter to listen to my dialogue, I can listen to the dialogue. You can listen to any other track that you might want. So you've got the option there to use this particular effect in the sidechain or by using the sidechain. Now, another effect, just for an example here, um, that's a third party plugin. If I come down to uh, EQ, I go to VST and I click on my F6 here, which is a plugin from Waves. We can see at the top here, I also have those options, right? On, listen, and select my source. Now, in a lot of effects, you don't get those options. So if I just delete these two, if I use something like a multiband compressor, for example, that's built into Resolve here, 
In my multi-band compressor, we have no option to work with the side chain directly in the effect. So some effects have it, some effects don't. Just depends on what you want to use. And if it's a third-party plugin, just depends on the plugin that you've got. So there you have it, guys. All about the side chain feature here that's new in DaVinci Resolve 19. They added some functionality to it. And I know that was an area that's been needing a little bit of an update. So I think this is a step in the right direction. A lot more awesome updates here in Fairlight, so stay tuned. I'm going to be going over them, checking them out, making some videos for you guys, just so you know what's up in the audio world. Also going to be checking out some of the other new features here in Resolve 19, because there's a lot of good stuff. Let's be honest, a lot of good stuff in here. And if you guys do want to dig into your audio a little bit more, learn the ins and outs of how to work with your audio, check out my course, Audio Essentials for Video Editors in DaVinci Resolve. I'll link that in the description down below. So if you want to pick up the Motion Array stuff, check it out. Link down there for that as well. All right, guys, with that said, I'm out of here. Make more vids for you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Can't reach. Ugh. Camera's a little far away. All right, see ya.